Hello student, welcome in today's session. I am Professor Fayyaz Khawadi from Department of Mechanical Engineering. This is our module 1.8, Merchant Diagram of Force Relationship or Merchant's Circle of Force. In this session, we are going to discuss what are the different forces acting during cutting and what is merchant four circle diagram and how to draw it from unit number one, theory of metal cutting. In two dimensional or orthogonal cutting, following forces acting on chip during cutting. Now the figure is in front of you, is well known and familiar to you in which the tool is cutting the material from workpiece in form of chip. You can see in this figure. Now you are well known familiar with this figure. So let us start which forces is acting on this cutting. The first force which is acting is a shear force, which is denoted by F suffix S, FS. It raises to shear and acts along shear plane. The FS is shown in a red color here in this figure, which is acting along a shear plane in the direction of or parallel to shear plane, FS. The second plane, the second force is a backing force, which is denoted by FN. This force is normal to shear plane this force and this force is also called as a backing force on chip provided by workpiece. This is a backing force on chip provided by workpiece and again it is perpendicular to FS. FN force, backing force is perpendicular to shear force. Third one is a fictional force denoted by capital letter F. It is the resistance offered by the tool on chip flow. It is the resistance offered by tool on chip flow. And fourth one is a normal force which is denoted by capital letter N. It is the force applied on chip by the tool. It is normal to fictional force of cutting face of tool. It is perpendicular to cutting face of tool. So these four forces acting during cutting in two dimensional cutting or orthogonal cutting, FS, FN, F and N. So understand student, these four forces is acting during cutting in orthogonal method. FS, FN, FS and FN are perpendicular to each other and F and N are perpendicular to each other. So this FN, FN, FS, F and N are taken in such a way that you can find its resultant. So resultant forces are R and R dash. Vector addition of F and N, vector addition of F and N is the resultant R. And vector addition of Fs and Fn is the resultant R dash. R dash is the resultant vector of Fs and Fn and R is the resultant vector of F and N. Forces acting on chip must be in balance. Forces acting on chip, that is FS, FN, F and N must be balanced to each other. So R dash must be equal in magnitude to R. R dash, this R dash should be equal in magnitude of to R R dash must be opposite in direction of R. R dash 
must be opposite in direction to r and r dash must be collinear with r these are the condition for balancing r dash and r should be equal in magnitude opposite in direction and should be collinear now these forces acting in machining are dynamic in nature that means the magnitude of all these forces is goes on changing with respect to time this is nothing but dynamic in nature hence it is difficult to measure as the nature of these forces is dynamic so it is difficult to make measure so each force can be resolved into two components the first component is fc that is cutting force exerted by tool and which is nothing but summation of all horizontal components and second one ft is the thrust force of field force help in holding the tool in position and this ft is nothing but summation of all vertical components so fc is summation of all horizontal components and ft is summation of all vertical components fc and ft can be measured by using dynamometer by measuring instrument known as dynamometer which is used to measure the forces these all forces can be represented by circle called merchant force circle diagram all these forces can be represented into the circle and that circle is called merchant force circle diagram and merchant circle is used for determining the actual forces and what is that actual forces fs fn f and n from the measurable forces what is that measurable forces fp and fc these are the measurable forces and this is measured with help of dynamometer merchant suggested easiest way to present various forces inside a circle having vector r as a diameter so before starting how to draw these forces in the circle merchant circle before that the merchant made some assumptions so what are these assumptions the first one is cutting velocity remains constant to cutting tool has sharp cutting edge third assumption chip does not flow sideways that means this is not a oblique cutting this theory is used when the cutting is orthogonal cutting only in orthogonal cutting the chip will flow on the face of the tool it does not flow sideways fourth assumption orthogonal cutting with single point cutting tool is considered fifth one chip width remains constant obvious when the chip will uh, flow on the face that means it is orthogonal cutting so the width width will not change in cutting sixth flank does not make contact with work piece and seventh the continuous chip with built up edge is produced the continuous chip without built up edge is produced now this is the force circle diagram or merchant circle diagram in which you can see the different forces here all six forces are plot inside the circle okay so how to draw this listen carefully the value of fc this is horizontal force fc and the value of ft which is perpendicular to this is known from the measuring instrument okay this is the tool from that tool point this is the nose from that cutting point or from this nose i will start i will start drawing all the forces by taking suitable scale i am taking here 100 newton is equal to 1 cm 100 newton is equal to 1 cm by taking this suitable scale i will draw 
the force fc cutting force from that single point cutting tool this is the cutting point of this of the of this tool so i draw the horizontal line horizontal line by taking 100 newton is equal to 1 cm i will draw the fc force fc okay if um, that uh, fc is 400 newton so i will draw here the line of 4 cm 4 cm so from this end point of this fc line i will draw the ft force which is perpendicular to that fc line that is horizontal line <clears throat> horizon from this horizontal line i will draw the perpendicular line which is ft and the magnitude of that ft i know from the dynamometer so i will draw the vertical line vertical line by taking this scale okay now from that end point from that end point i will join this line to form the triangle which is resultant of fc and ft okay i will join this r r which is third side of the triangle made by fc and ft also this r is the resultant of fc and ft okay now this r is a diameter of merchant circle so what i do here i have bisected this r and i will find the mean point of this r and by putting the one point of this compass i will draw the circle by taking mean point as a radius of the circle and this distance as a radius i will draw the circle okay so that intersection point of fc and ft will lie on the circle and this will be a right angle triangle okay now the next day the shear plane angle is known shear plane angle value of phi is known so from this point i will measure that phi and draw the fs force shear force okay and where it intersect that circle i will mark that point and from this point to this perpendicular to this fs force i will draw the perpendicular line and that will be fn that force will be fn okay and where it intersect that intersection intersect that fn to that circle this will be the magnitude of fn so i will fi uh, find here the magnitude of fs and fn where it intersect the merchant circle okay and obvious r is again the resultant of fs and fn and this intersection point you will get again on this circle again this is a right, a right angle triangle now the third step to draw f and m f and n next two forces i know the alpha angle which is a vertical angle of tool from this vertical line i draw this construction vertical line to draw the alpha angle here when this alpha so opposite angle will be again this alpha okay so by taking this angle alpha is known by taking this angle alpha i will draw the line which is intersecting to that merchant circle where it intersect that will become your force f that will become your force f and when it intersect that line through that point i will draw perpendicular to perpendicular line to f where it intersect that line that will be again the that will again the magnitude of force n which is normal force to f again it will intersect at same point which is nothing but a resultant line and r will become here again resultant of f and n 
or you can say r will become the third side of this right angle triangle made by f and n so in this way you can draw the all the forces fs fn fc ft f and n prescribed inside the circle so this circle is called merchant circle to find out uh, the different forces to find out the magnitude of fs fn f and n having the resultant r so student uh, i expect that you uh, understood how to draw all the forces inside the circle okay so at the end of this session you can understood the different forces acting during the cutting merchant circle and assumption made by him and how to draw the merchant circle so thank you for watching this video